Hello everybody, welcome back to the craft room. Today I'm not making a card, I'm making a gift box. I do um, a gift box for my great nieces and nephews, so I have to make five gift boxes. Last year this tonic um, backpack was on off a really good offer, so I I got that. But I can't see anything on there that this year that is is going to be good for girls and boys. I've got two boys, three girls to do. Um, you know, there's handbags and stuff on there, but not really much suitable for the boys. So I thought I would, rather than spend out on another die anyway, I would try and make my own. And I'm going to make it from this Card Making Magic box card. So this is a six by six flower box and card which um, was also on an offer when I got it, so um, I don't know if it's still on there or not. But what I thought I'd do is, I mean, I'll show you a picture of what these looked like last year, if I can if I can find it and work out how to put it up, so I'll just show that now. And I am going to use some little bits I think to embellish this so I'm going to use the tag and the closure or something so what I'm thinking is this is the back piece and this is the front piece and I'm thinking if I do a couple of score lines I can fashion a lid oh it's got some tags in it actually I might not need to use those other tags and then all I would have to do is cut the mat layers in half so I'm going to get some pieces cut, so I should cut the back, that front piece. I'm going to have to work out how to put something on the bottom to close it in. I hadn't thought about that yet. And yeah, do some scores. See, I mean, see what happens. I mean, it might just all go, go to pot and then uh, I'll have to do something else. But worth giving it a go I feel so that is the papers that I'm using so I've got some brown little cardstock and I've got a couple of pattern papers for the mat layers so the first thing I'm going to do is get a couple of bits cut and see what it looks like so work out what I need to cut and it's that one. Do a bit of reinforcing on the score lines just to make sure they're all in.
Okay, so I am thinking my score lines are going to be have to be um, as big as that is. So that's three and a half. So I think I'll just do it a little bit over three and a half. And then it needs to be that piece there, which takes it up to five and just over five. So if we just do that a little bit more over five, in theory, that should be it. So our um, box is going to be about that big but that's all right it only holds it's gonna be a gift card and a few sweeties so that'll be absolutely fine okay so we do need to do a bottom piece and i'm going to use this piece and measure what this is here so that is one and a half and this is two. So we've got to do a quarter on each side. So quarter. And a quarter. And I'm just going to cut this corner off at a bit of an angle, like that. So do all four like that. So I'm going to stick this on first, I don't know if I'm doing this in the right order but this is the way I'm doing it. So. So now I'm going to put this piece on. Not going to be very easy, but we will do our best. So let me do a bit of a time. I use this glue because it's a bit more of a quick grab. I'm going to do my lid for that. There it is.
way. So I want a I want a gift card holder. That's gonna have chocolates in there. I need a closure. I need a, a gift card holder on the back. And then just mat and layer the rest and a velcro dot to close it. So let's have a look through these tonic dies and see what I can find that's gonna work. So box to one side, so I'm going to cut that in brown, that in brown, that's white or matte, that in brown, that, that, and that. And we just need the matte layer for that, which I missed, so that's that one. So that's it's gonna do that's gonna do a little handle a little envelope a closure yep. so they're all brown and then this is gonna be white because that's the tag. And the other brown bit I'm going to do is the letter T from Major Surprise Chunky Uppercase. Let's see if I can find where the T is. Where are you? There you are. So the T is going to be in brown as well. Okay, so let's get these cut. So let me get this tag just to put together and out of the way because that's going to be the last thing that goes on. So that 
that's the tag for that one done. It's just. So that's going to go like that, but after I put some card on there, let's get this little gift envelope done. All right, I'm going to put a finger pull on there so that their kids can get their gift cards out easier. So I am going to do two pattern pieces just to cover those. I think I need to do those first. last year is the kids managed to rip those off straight away so I might put the brad on there at the end and then put a piece in there to cover it over so I am just going to cut this piece just to get that done Okay, so there's all those bits ready. I've now got to do some mats and layers for this.
and this piece which we need to cut down. strip of gold or something along there. I don't know why that is so much shorter but it's because it's when it's up that way. I don't know. I don't know. Okay so let's get this pieces of this one. Okay, let me get rid of all this rubbish so that I can see what I'm doing to finish this off. So, my last pieces is this one, which is going to close it up, and I think I might stick that while it's together.
Okay, so the last piece of the puzzle. Right, let's put that little thumb hole in there. another one of these and another one of these each I'm going to stick this 
on later once it's fully dried it will be a bit firmer and possibly a bit more robust than it was last year and I'm going to probably put it on with brads and then cover it underneath and this tag is going to hang from there so I can't do that yet but I don't think that turned out too bad to be honest there's a gift box made from two different die sets so thank you for joining me for this first one now I've done the first one the other four are going to be um, a lot easier it's always the first one where you just don't know quite how it's going to go but like I say not too bad and I think it's suitable for just a little box for girls and for boys and I'll put another tag on the to and from and that's it thank you so much for joining me if you're still here thank you for watching to the end um, it's actually taken an hour and 15 so I should be able to get that down to 30 minutes and hopefully not cut out too much so yeah thanks for joining and i'll catch you again next time okay bye